In Nairobi City, the break in different classes has become more defined, with exponential growth in cities and urban areas. Low class areas like slums are also growing. From the famed shanty towns, there seems to be a move to try developing these areas into more livable places with a variety of activities taking place. For Tanyao slums, marks the barrier between industrial area and South B. Fort Anyayo still experiences challenges faced across the city and also different parts of the world, which will show that it shares some problems that have been affecting people all over, and how if certain practices are adopted can benefit the community and the city at large. Shelter being one of the key basic human needs, Fort Anyayo has a variety of structures. Some of the houses are built with wood, a few built of stone, and most of them being made of galvanized sheets, which translates to Mabati, in Swahili, hence the local name Mabatini. With people trying to look for cheaper accommodations, complemented by the growing costs of living in the city, one can see why people settle in such areas and understand why it's growing. Different classes of people are evident here, with some in old Mabati houses, others in new, and some who earn better salaries afford to rent story houses, though still in the slums. Kwenye kijiji wewe kuna watu aina mingi. Kuna wenye wamekuja hapa kuishi juana mali pengine pa kwenda. Na pia kuna wenye wamekuja kufanya biashara. With a high percentage growth in unemployment and high cost of living, many people have opted to venture into businesses. This is evident as you walk along the streets of Fort Anyayo slums where there is abundance of businesses. From merchants of clothing and shoes, kiosks groceries to salons and microfinances commonly referred to as M-Pesa. Through the muddy paths and roads, we can clearly see that in Fort Anyayo, people are trying to earn their keep. Although many people are moving into slums due to high costs of house rent in the stories estates, the problem that has been there since time in memorials still prevails the problem of sanitation. Like any other slum, Fort Anayo slum is faced with sanitation problems, with the dirty Nairobi River passing through it, lack of proper ways to dispose the waste, parts full of muck, leaves one wondering what happens when it rains. The garbage littered everywhere poses a health hazard to the inhabitants, yet they seem to have accepted this fact. <laughs> Tungekuwa tayari tumesha tafutua loli ya kuwa inashukua takataka Hata kama ni marambili kwa wiki Inamemba iso takataka inapereka huko mahali inafaa kupereko To some, garbage is a lifestyle through which they earn their living Children play in this dirt Which seems to also nourish livestock such as chicken and goats with the famed flying toilets still evident here, residents have seen the need for proper toilets. Despite the challenges for Tanya residents face, each strives day by day to make ends meet and better their lives.